In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to draw a circle graph or a pie graph. And you might be given some information like this. Uh, this is uh, music preferences for uh, um, uh, a certain population that's been sampled. Uh, Hip-hop at 20 at 40%, uh, uh, alternative rock 25, hard rock 13, country 10, classical 3, and, and other 9. And if you if you don't have the percentages, if you have a total instead of the percentages, then if these were actually the surveyed numbers, you would total them up and divide each of those numbers by the total to get the 40% or 25% or 13%, etc. Now, once you have the percentages for each category, and as a check, uh, these should add up to 100 or very close to 100. Uh, just as a check here, and I'll bring my calculator over. Uh, if we, uh, and this will make it a little smaller so it will fit in the entire screen. Uh, if we add all of these up, uh, 40 and 25, uh, 13, 25, 13, 10, 3, and 9, you should get 100. Now, if you get 99, it might be just a rounding error. That's that's possible, okay. But you shouldn't be getting a lot less than 100 or a lot more than 100. If you do, then they're not actual percents. Now, these angles, see the reason you need the percentage, other than to put the percent in the graph probably, is you needed to figure out what fraction of the circle or fraction of the pie each of these music types represent. So for example, hip hop is 40%. So where this 144 comes from, in a circle there's 360 degrees. So if you multiply that by, and 40% is 0.4, if you want to put the zero afterwards, you can, but it's not necessary. And so that's what gives the 144 degrees. If we do the next one, it's 25%. And so that's where the 90 degrees comes from. Next one is 13%. So if I go back and edit this to make that 13%, 46.8. So that's where the 46.8 degrees comes from. So once you have all these degrees here, now we can start to draw the circle. So now uh, a lot of circle graphs you'll see they'll start from a vertical line here like if this is the clock that would be the the, the 12 o'clock hour right there. So we want to measure an angle of 144 degrees and I'm going to go uh, clockwise around the circle here. So you take your protractor and we want to rotate it and you see this is where you measure the angle from right there so you want to put that right in the center of the circle. And you want that line, actually, see, you want this line right here lined up on that line in the circle. So, and that's pretty close. I'm very slightly off it, but I, it's because of the, uh, see, if I move it over a little bit too much, it's just slightly off. So I can't, if I was on paper, I could probably make it more accurate. Now, if we're going 144 degrees, we're going 144 degrees from here. Remember on a protractor there's two scales. This inside one is if you're measuring from this side of the protractor, which is what we're not doing here. We're measuring 144 degrees around here. So you would take the scale that starts at 0, 10, 20, 30, the one on the outside. So I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to put it in the center here. Now 144 would be about about right there. That's pretty close to 144 degrees. And uh, just limitations of the uh, drawing abilities in PowerPoint here. That's a little better there, I guess. So uh, that's the, uh, oh, and I'm supposed to be right in here in the middle. There we go. So that's the 144 degree angle. That's going to be the hip hop uh, one and actually maybe we'll take our little text box and throw it in here and so next is 25 percent or 90 degrees so I want to take my protractor and it's 90 degrees rotated from here so I want to take my protractor and I want to rotate it so again I want that to be right in the center now I'm very slight see that's the line right there that's going to line up with the line we just did so I have to rotate just a little bit more that's pretty close right there. So we want to go 90 degrees. So I want that to be right in the center or as close as that's as close as I'm going to get. Now 90 degrees is right there. You see, again, we're going around the outside 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and that would be 90 right there. So 
that's my 90 degrees. And so that 90 degrees is the alternative rock. So I want to put this in here. And then we have 46.8 degrees. So I'm going to rotate my protractor again. And so again, I want to put that mark right in the center. I'm pretty close there right now. I don't think I'm going to get much closer. So I want to be 46.8 degrees. So I'm going to this right in the center. And that's actually pretty close. Slightly more. Well, yeah, it's probably pretty close there. It's hard to be really accurate with uh, what I'm doing here, but uh, that's the hard rock category. So let's stick that in here. And next we have country, which is 10%. So we need to rotate this again. And maybe just a little more around. Yeah, that's pretty close there. And so this is 36 degrees. So let's use this one. 30, okay, that's right on, th see 36 would be right in here. Yeah, 35, 36, actually it's close to, well, that's pretty close. I, I don't, I th it's on about 35, but I don't think if I go a little more, it's going to be a lot more than 36. So let's just go back where we were. There we go. And then the last one, uh, should be the 30, 10.8. We actually get two categories here, I suppose. 10.8, so about 11 degrees. So let's rotate. Oh, and I forgot my uh, country here. Now that's actually getting a bit large. Maybe I'll even make the font a little smaller so it'll fit in there a little better. Or beside it anyway. And so I want to do 10.8, so about 11 degrees. And that's not right in the center, so I'm gonna whoops, I'm gonna move it down a little bit here. That's pretty close there. And so uh let's see now we want about eleven percent. So let's stretch this down to the center. And so uh it's pretty close to right there. That might be ten degrees, but and so the last category should be thirty two point four. So let's just check and see how accurate we've been we've been. Right in the center here. Wow, that's pretty close. It looks like about 32 degrees from here to the line we started with. So that's actually uh, not too bad at all. So um, classical was the second last one we did. I don't have room to put that in there, so we'll put this right beside it. Sometimes what you'll see in circle grass is they'll actually have an arrow, you know, that goes, that points toward the category, something like that. So know that that is the classical and the other is the 9% here. Hard to uh, really get that in there because the category is pretty small, but that doesn't look the greatest, but we're just showing how to, how to draw these. And so that's the general idea. Now, of course, if we were doing this to do a good job, we would probably color each of these. Um, I probably edit these fonts, and for the especially for the two small categories, put them out here so it doesn't interfere with the title, and put an arrow into those two uh, small slices, and then make it look better, and it would probably look something more like that. So that's the basic idea and how to draw a circle graph.